Outlander fans, Sam Hubin just dropped a major clue about the status of Season 8. Is Droughtlander officially over? Judging by what Sam Hewin just revealed about the current status of Outlander, new episodes may be coming sooner than you think. As the hit stars drama prepares to wrap up the story of Claire Randall and Jamie Fraser with the eighth and final season, the actor surprised his followers with an enticing update about Outlander's final installment of episodes. In a video posted to his Instagram story, in which he appeared to be on set, he seemingly revealed that production is now underway after pausing for the WGA and SAG AFTRA strikes earlier this year. At Outlander underscore stars season 8. Prep. He cryptically wrote on November 29 alongside a gif of him in character. When fans saw that the Men in Kilt star was getting ready to play Jamie Fraser for one more go around, folks couldn't help but get emotional about the prospect. This is so bittersweet. One person wrote on Instagram, I don't know if we are ready for the final season, a different viewer remarked. Jesus H. Roosevelt Christ, it's happening, another added. The news around Outlander season 8 comes amid a busy work schedule for Sam. Currently, he's in the middle of promoting his new series, The Couple Next Door, while promoting his Sassanac Spirits beverage company ahead of the holiday season. It also comes just months after Outlander aired the first eight episodes of season seven, with part two set to air sometime in 2024. Although Outlander may be wrapping up, it's not the last we've seen from this universe created by author Diana Gabaldon. Along with the return of Outlander season seven, a prequel to the series is officially in the works, titled Outlander, Blood of My Blood. According to TV Insider, that show will follow the love story of Jamie's parents, Ellen and Brian. Outlander stars drama about a pair of lovers so passionate that not even two centuries of time can stop them from being together, has been running since 2014. Now fans are finally facing down the end. The second half of season seven will premiere sometimes early in 2024. After that, there's only one season left. Star Sam Hewen who plays dashing Highlander-turned-colonial transplant Jamie Fraser, gave fans a little behind-the-scenes preview of Season 8 on his Instagram, where he wandered through the show's cavernous wardrobe department. Check out the video. Those are a lot of costumes for a lot of extras. Entering the final season, Human wrote, cranking on the drama, but st still plenty to look forward to as seven. The man knows how to reel him in. We don't have exact release dates for either Outlander Season 7 Part 2 or Outlander Season 8. Clearly work on the final season is getting underway. The whole story should be told by the end of 2025. If you're upset by the idea of Outlander coming to an end, know that Stars isn't going to leave you hanging. This journey has been too fun for fans and too profitable for the network. Here we go, they're starting in on a prequel series. Blood of My Blood about Jamie Fraser's parents Ellen McKenzie and father Brian Fraser. The show will be a prequel to Outlander, meaning that neither Jamie nor his time-traveling lover Claire will appear. And if Jamie does appear, he'll just be a wee little one. According to BBC, Blood of My Blood will film some scenes in the Scottish city of Glasgow starting on January 7 and running through the 27th. It sounds like, like filming on Blood of My Blood is running ahead of filming on Outlander Season 8. Does that mean Blood of My Blood will come out first, or will stars hold onto it until after the Outlander series finale so they can assuage the anguish? We'll keep our eyes and ears open for answers. Quando perdiamo qualcuno ci amiamo. Gli restiamo profondamente legati per tanto tempo. Forest per la vita. Continuiamo a comunicare con questa persona con il nostro cuore. Ma la tecnologia potrebbe farsi eluder, che può essere possibile farlo anche concretamente. Love Again Supreme Video e un film com event, che racconta il senso di vuoto che si, a sal quando la morte si strappa via il nostro amore. Ma 
Anchi il percorso di Garigian Chesi Porta verso una rinascita. So pertudo si troviamo a canto, a noi qualcuno che rispetta il nostro passato vi stato appena, rilastiato sulla piattaforma, blu e si tratta di un remake in lingua inglese del film tedesco SMS. For Dick del 2016, a sua volta passato sulla monomo romanzo di Sophie Kramer, una scrittrice molto apprezzata per la vena umoristica con cui nara vicend romantic anci difficili. La versione cinematografica ci troviamo su Prime Video, e di Reddit de James C. Strauss, anci conosciuto semplicemente come Jim, noto anci come sinegiator e predator. Strauss, ed un regista ci ama dirigir story nel quali Personaggi si concentrano sul relazioni interpersonali sul sfide della vita quotidiana. Vel anche e per love again she, per essendo una romcom poco impegnativa. Prova ad andar oltre il semplice incontro tra du futuri inamorati. Publico e critica si sono decisamente divisi su Rotten Tomatoes. Il tomatometer segna appena il 28% di gradimento mentre l'audience score è al 91%. Google registra questo conflitto e restituis un gradimento del 59%. Un buon motivo per vedere questo film su Prime Video. Beh, se si è dei fan di Colleen Dion, non potete certament perdervi il suo esordio cinematografico. La Queen of Power Ballads, Comi da Tempo Sopranominava, Interpreta qui il ruolo di se stessa, Ci e decisamente centrale nella storia. Finora si aveva regalato soltanto qualche cameo in episodi TV e nel film Muppets 2? Resercati. La voce diveniva nota in tutto il mondo per aver cantato lo stregant amor in Titanic con il brano. My heart will go on, ha anchi composto, interpretato ben five nuovi pezzi, per la colonna sonora di Love Again su Prime Video. Ma ogni storia d'amor che sai rispetti, ha luna copia al centro della sina che, in questo caso, e interpretata da altri du grandiatori di fama mondiale. A vester ai panni della protagonista femminile, e Priyanka Chopra. Star di Bollywood or my molto apprezzata on che, in Occident affermato volto di multi film e seri tifstitunitensi, come Matrix Resurrections, Quantico o Citadel. Il su cor tornera e batter per il personaggio interpretato de Sam Hewden, geo protagonista della seri tiv Outlander. Outlander was 20 years in the making, thanks to the books initially being turned down and various hoop-jumping exercises. Outlander may be among the biggest dramas today, but it could have arrived a lot sooner, if it wasn't for a lot of red tape. Stars has been the home of the time-traveling series since 2014, exploring the Romeo-Juliet-style relationship of Second World War nurse Claire Randall and Highlander Jamie Fraser. As fans know all too well, the romantic drama is based on the book series, by Diana Gabaldon, who has now written nine novels as part of the franchise. While her novels are a massive success, and the television adaptation now an award-winning and internationally popular show, the journey to get to this point was a lot slower than what some might expect. In fact, according to executive producer Matthew B. Roberts, it took around two decades for Outlander to really get going. Speaking on the official Outlander podcast, Roberts explained, When I first read the books, way, way, way back, I was a reader and the production company wanted to make some movies, and they handed me a couple of the books that were out at the time. In reading them, my God, this is going to be fantastic. Not as an hour and 45 minute movie, so oddly enough, I passed on the books. Well, this company wanted to do these books, wanted to make TV movies out of them, not features, TV movies, and so, 
My recommendation was passed with the caveat, these would make an excellent TV series if you ever want to go down that road. Roberts continued, and flash forward, Meryl Davis, executive producer on the show. Their offices were across the hall from my office and I heard her talking. She said she wanted to find an epic book series and I had them on my shelf and said, here you go, make that into a TV series. And here we are about 20 years later because that didn't happen immediately, it took a while. Once she read the books, it was trying to get the rights and all the hoops you have to jump through to get something made. 